Hello ladies and gentlemen. This video series is going to be about how to create your own automated gaming bot. Now keep in mind this is multi-purpose. We're going to be creating a program that can hear, see, click, and also count time. Uh, pretty much all the things that you need to do to make basic decisions and to respond to situations. Now is is going to be pretty cool and and what I'm going to actually do is build this program based to work on a game called Eve Online. Uh before we dive into the actual construction of the program though, I'm going to dedicate this first video to the philosophy of game automation. Now, the reason I want to cover this is because I'm sure that even now there are going to be people out there who are going to get up on this video who are going to comment who are going to give me thumbs down saying hey what are you talking about creating a bot for EVE Online they ban people like you you're dumb why are you playing the game if you don't feel like waiting blah 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 if this is you go ahead move your mouse to the stop button click on it and move elsewhere spend your time doing something you enjoy not sitting here causing causing arguments and, and bringing up discussions which are not constructive at all. Now, if you are one of those people who, like me, values your time, uh, values your time more so than to want to sit there and do things, menial tasks, which are honestly not going to edify your life at all, go ahead and let's get started. All right. The first reason that I created this program is to save you time. All right. Now, even though there are certain things you can do in your life which take up time, I don't necessarily think that everything in your in your life that takes up time is worth doing. Um, I'm not saying that I'm better than everyone else, but I'm just saying that certain things your time can be spent better doing. They often say that Warren Buffett, if he sees a hundred dollar bill on the street, if he bends down and stops his walking and picks up that hundred dollar bill that he would actually lose more money picking up the hundred dollar bill than he would actually going to wherever it is he's going that's because his time is important and so is yours alright you wanna save your effort now all because you know how to do something doesn't mean that you should be doing it if you have greater goals in mind you do not want to be doing everything yourself because of course your time and your effort are finite you can only expend 24 hours of effort every day before next thing you know you're working on your next 24 hours of effort by creating other means to put out effort for you by delegating your time and effort you are creating more time for yourself to make the most effective use of your time possible you eliminate repetitive tasks now, one thing that people are bad at doing and that computers are overwhelmingly exceptional for doing is doing repetitive tasks. Computers can do repetitive tasks over and over and over again with computer-like accuracy, right? <laughs> Oxymoron. But, but computers can do things over and over again and do an awesome job at them and not get tired. People, on the other hand, if you have to do something over and over and over again, you may you may be able to maintain your focus and your concentration, but after a while it gets boring and your work quality may begin to falter. So we're gonna get around that by making a computer work for us, which is their original purpose anyway. Uh, the over the 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 final product that we're actually looking for here is to have you have more fun in whatever game that you're trying to do uh, you know you can like I said apply these principles I'm gonna show you in this video to any other game that you run across as well that means that you spend less time doing things you don't want to do in the game and you spend more time doing things that you would like to do in the game alright now I just wanna quickly go over the reason why I advise using bots in games such as EVE Online, alright? To me, games kind of break down to two general categories. Now, there is some gray area in here, and there are some games that, that have both qualities, but to me, generally, you have performance-based reward systems in games, 
and you have time-based reward systems in games. Now, performance-based reward systems, um, most of the beginning games, and when I say beginning games, I mean games that came out on the NES, Sega, uh, all those first, you know, ColecoVision, Atari, those were all performance-based reward systems. In other words, if you don't know how to jump over the cliff in Super Mario Bros. 3, you will not progress in the game, and therefore you will not make it to see the other levels. You won't get the Hammer Brothers suit, you will not beat the game, you will not be able to defeat Bowser. Now, this is the case for Sonic the Hedgehog, Unreal Tournament, uh, the first one I'm thinking about, um, the Game of the Year edition, the one that people still play 15 years later right now. Uh, that game, once again, the better you shoot people, the more fun the game is, and, and really the more you can progress, because, of course, your, your time killing people is directly related to your rank in the game, so on and so forth. Uh, same thing for Counter-Strike as well. I'm thinking about Counter-Strike 1.6. I can't speak for the later ones, but the premise is basically the same. The more people you kill, the better your team works together. The more money you get, the better the weapons are that you can get, so on and so forth. These are not time-sensitive things. You can do, well, I mean, to a certain extent they are, but it's more directly tied to your effort. Now, let's get to games like Battlefield 2. Uh, old game, which is a online game, which is a pretty cool game, and EVE Online. Now, in Battlefield 2, though there is an aspect which is performance-based, all right, there's also a time-based aspect. In other words, no matter how well you play, you still have to put in X number of hours in the game to unlock certain weapons in multiplayer mode. Now, to me, you've already spent your money to purchase the game. Now, how do most of us make our money? We spend our time to at our job to get a paycheck so therefore why are you gonna pay money which is your time anyway to purchase a game just to spend more time in the game to unlock weapons which you already paid for why not just have those weapons at the beginning alright that's why people came up with unlocks there's a uh, a hack for it you can you can get unlocks for battlefield 2 and it unlocks all the different weapons which were hidden now for me, I don't believe that unlocking those weapons makes the game any less pleasurable to me. In fact, it gives me more options and it makes it more awesome to me. Now, same thing with EVE Online. You have to spend a certain amount of time training skills and other menial tasks as well. To me, this, this game epitomizes what I'm talking about. Now, don't get me wrong. There are fun aspects of the game as well. Remember, I said there's gray areas. So, performance-based reward systems would be you fighting other players and destroying their ships. You have to work for kill mails. Now, on the other end of the of the token here, we have things like moving from one jump, jump gate to another. Uh, we have things like mining. Things like things that you know how to do, but that are repetitive to do so, and quite frankly, not worth your time to do. These are the things that we're trying to eliminate so that you can have a more pleasurable gaming experience without having to put up with the repetitive things which can water down your experience or make it less pleasurable because let's face it no one knows when you're gonna die no one knows when's the last time you're gonna speak to your family members why not spend time that you would spend on a game uh, doing menial tasks doing it to doing things that you would actually like to do uh, while you're autopiloting to somewhere, not using the crappy autopilot system that Eve created, creating your own autopilot. While you're doing that, saving time, saving your own effort, why don't you do something else that you like to do instead? And therefore, you're enhancing your life. You're not sitting there doing something on a computer that you don't want to do for the sake of doing it. Lord knows we have enough things like that to do already in our lives. All right. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's dive into this. Remember, all the tools that I'm going to use creating this program are free on the Windows platform. The only thing that's not free is the intuition that you have to put into doing this, all right? But once you put the effort in, you're done. You're not going to have to put the effort in anymore because the framework is set. So let's get going. 